So this past weekend was Modern Ben's anniversary. We've been married for seven years now. And a couple months ago, a subscriber on YouTube, her name was Julianne, reached out and said that she had a chair that she wanted to get rid of. She didn't have room for anymore. And that it was an East Lake chair. So we actually went and met up with her and we drove like two hours. So we got that chair and I'll show you guys it later in this video. But on our way back, we decided to stop at a couple Goodwills and then some of the stuff I did get whenever I went to the Goodwill with my mom once. So some of this has been collected for a couple weeks now, but I thought I would show you guys some of the new antiques and then at the end we will decorate and put these things up. So the first thing that I got was this wooden, I don't know if it was intended for matches or toothpicks. I'm going to see if toothpicks will fit in it because we don't really need matches in our kitchen, but... I do use toothpicks a lot, so I'm going to hang this up in there if it will hold toothpicks. If not, then we'll use it in one of the other rooms next to candles and we'll put matches in it. But this was only three bucks and usually whenever you find these, they are pretty expensive. Like I've always wanted a cast iron one, but I just need about to pay the money for it. So that one was three dollars, so I did get that. And then the next thing I got was this glass bowl with a lid I'm pretty sure it's a refrigerator dish and I love old refrigerator dishes I have a few of them but either I can put leftovers in this and put it in the fridge like it's intended or I can use it for sourdough starter or anything so this was also three dollars and I just love glass any kind of glassware and just ironstone anything for my kitchen I really love especially vintage and then Next, I got this bowl, and it is so heavy. It's not stamped or anything on the bottom, but it was only $2, so I am going to use this. I don't know where, but I thought about, it's a little bit big now that I'm looking at it, but I wanted it to put salt in. Whenever we lived at our old house, we had these copper, they were copper bowls, and they were super tiny, though. It was like a sphere, so it was a circle ball, but it was like the lid was cut off, and that did have a pour spout, but they were actual copper, and they came with little spoons and I bought them on the 127 yard sale. If you've never went on that yard sale, you should definitely go. We used to go every single year, but the past two years we have not gone just because we've always had something to do here on the farm because it is in the middle of summer. So you, I think both times we've been putting up hay whenever it was going on. But in previous years we did go and I cannot find those copper dishes to save my life <laughs> they're somewhere in the addition i know they are i just need to take the time to go find them but i used them at our old house they sat on our stove for salt and pepper and i want them back so bad and i just don't know where they're at so i should probably just go find them and spend the day in there trying to dig them out but i thought i was going to put salt in this but it's kind of big so i don't know i will use this for something though it is so heavy and it was two dollars i don't know if i said that or not the next thing I got was these wooden utensils and I have a lot of wooden utensils already but if you know anything about the wooden utensils then you just know that the new ones don't even compare to the old ones. So these are just like heavy duty. You feel like they're not going to break and the thing that I love most is the opening right here. So this is a spoon but most modern wood spoons they don't even have a scoop right here so they're not divoted out but this one is divoted out so i've started getting these so i'll take a modern spoon that i have in there and i'll swap it out for this one and the other one will get donated to goodwill or given to somebody that wants it but i'm pretty sure that it was seven dollars i think each of these were seven dollars a piece and then this one is i'm going to use it as a bowl scraper but also i feel like it'd be perfect for like spreading jelly and jam and butter and it does need it re-oiled. It's a little bit dry, but I just love these because one of you guys actually commented it on my bowl whenever I was making, I think it was my cake or something in one of my previous videos, but I did not have a bowl scraper. So I ended up buying a silicone bowl scraper and I do love it. But then I saw this and I was like, I bet this would work perfect. So I am going to try this, but either way, I'll use it for something in the kitchen. And then the next things that I picked up was these yellow bowls. And every time I buy a yellow bowl, it's so funny to me because years ago, I hated the color yellow, would never own anything yellow. And now that we have our kitchen and the cabinet is yellow, I just love the yellow bowls. And both of these were $30. And so that combined they were $30. I think this one was six and this one was 24. 
they were a little bit more expensive, but we had the shop owner call the booth owner and they came down on price. So if you're shopping at like an antique mall or usually our antique stores here in our town are like that, but there's vendors in each one. And if you don't like a price on something, you can always call and either make an offer or see what they'll come down to. So that's what we did on these bowls. And I have never had one with the brown stripe. I have tons with the blue stripe and then some that are just solid yellow. So I finally got this one and I like the shape of this one. It's wider at the top. Most of my bowls go up and they're more straight on the sides, but this one is really wide and I do like that. Everyone is always interested in my yellow bowls and just what how to search for them. So I have never bought any offline. I just buy them in store, but I have looked them up for some of you guys before. And if you type in old yellow crock bowl or old yellow pottery bowl so they're called both things and i don't know they feel like the crock material this one feels more like pottery but you can just search it on there by either pottery or crock and they should come up and neither of these are stamped with a name so i really don't know i cannot tell you much more than just search old yellow bowl i cannot wait to use these in my kitchen and as you'll notice both of these do have cracks so one thing about these bowls is I'm pretty sure it would happen in any sink, but especially ours being cast iron, if you drop it, it is going to break because the cast iron is stronger than the bowl. So I've only ever broke one bowl and it was actually really sentimental to me. It was one that my papa had gotten me. So I'm really, really careful now. And Ben doesn't even wash these bowls. So he'll, he'll say, no, I'm not washing them. I'm not washing them. He says, I'll let you wash them. So I do wash our bowls and I'm just really careful whenever I do wash them. And, but I use them every single day. And to be honest, if one broke, I probably wouldn't care that much just because I do get so much use out of them. I use them every single day in our kitchen. That's why I like to have them up on my shelf so that they're so easy to grab. And I usually always have one sitting out on the kitchen island also, because I don't know, it's just so much easier than having to get in the cabinet to get one out. But these next things, these, this came from an antique store. I have to remember. Yeah, this one came from an antique store and I want to say it was $1.99, but it is a circle lace tablecloth and I got it for our dining room table. I think it would be so pretty. It's not in the best condition, obviously for $1.99 vintage linen and it could be tacked. So I am going to sew a couple places where it is ripped but or attempt to sew because it is lace but overall it's still in really good condition and for $1.99 you cannot beat it I mean we're just going to get more food on it so and more stains so I really don't mind that much and then this one I got whenever I was with my mom and we got it at Goodwill I want to say we paid $4.99 for it but it is also a tablecloth but it has the most beautiful cross stitching I think is what that's called cross stitching pattern on it and the detail is just so beautiful. I don't know if it's old or new. I really have no idea. And I don't know if it's like hand done or if somebody bought it this way. I truly have no idea. But it was $4.99 and I plan on also using it on our dining room table. I think it's a little bit too small. So I'm going to turn it. Usually you can turn a too small of a tablecloth as a drape it sideways. So diagonally on your table. And then you can make it work that way. So that is what I plan on doing with this one if it is too small. The next thing I got, these both came from Goodwill whenever I was with Ben shopping for our anniversary. And this is just a double-sided recipe box. I do not think it's old at all, but I just need a recipe box. I don't have one. So it does say recipes on the front and it was $5.99. The last thing that I got was this old toolbox and I'm pretty sure that this is homemade because it is made with square nails. So square nails means that it is just super old. And I got this, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I wanted it for the middle of our dining room table so that we could put like the silverware and stuff that we keep in here and just pick it up and set it off the tables. Cause we do play cards sometimes and usually we'll play rummy with our friends or spades, something like that. and. It's just so easy to have everything in the middle of your dining room table inside of something else so you can just pick it up and move it out of the way instead of having to pick up each little item. 
So that's what I'm gonna try and use this for. And I'm not sure if it's like an old toolbox or like an old tack box, fencing box, I don't know, because we do have uh, several modern fencing boxes that look like this and we just put all of our fencing material in it. So it may be like an old fencing box, but it was $6.99 and I'm hoping it'll work in the middle of our dining room. Here is the chair that we went and met Julianne and got. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. We're thinking that it'll probably go in our master bedroom whenever it's done. And then it does also have a stool. I'm pretty sure she said that the stool did not match exact like it. She just put it with it instead of them matching. But either way, they match like almost perfectly. And I do love it. She did have them reupholstered, but I think they're going to make the perfect addition. For a lot of things in our kitchen, like these spoons, just so that I don't get way too many and out of control, which I already do have a lot, I do, for every new one I buy, I do try and get rid of two old ones, which these are still perfectly fine. They just need to be re-oiled. So I did get rid of those. And then I was checking this bowl to make sure I didn't have any eggs in it. Sometimes I put eggs in it. But stacking bowls like this is so helpful. It saves a lot of space, but also it is so helpful just to grab a bowl and to be able to use it and not have to go digging in a cabinet or a drawer trying to find a bowl or something to use. As you can see, we are currently overflowing with eggs. So I did put these eggs in this bowl just for the time being so that they wouldn't get knocked off and broken. But the bowl will eventually be used for other things besides storing eggs. I decided to put the lace tablecloth on for summer just because it seemed to be more light and airy and it makes the room look more light and airy and then I decided to wait until fall to use the other tablecloth with the cross stitching on it just because since it has the warmer tones like the brown and the little bit of orange it will match perfectly for the fall. There's just something about having a tablecloth on a table, especially in here in our dining room particularly. It makes it seem so much lighter and brighter. And I think that's why I love to have a tablecloth just because the table and the chairs are so dark. So it helps add that little bit of pop of color or lightness to the floor because it looks very heavy towards the bottom, but then like light up top. So this tablecloth helps a lot and the toolbox or tack box, whichever it was, it worked perfectly to put our silverware in. I did end up having to switch out one of the pitchers, which was completely fine. I had an extra one laying around, so I found a smaller one that will actually fit in here. But I did set this faux plant next to the side and it just helps add a pop of color here on the table, even though it's not real. I would love a real fern, but I have never been able to keep one alive inside the house yet. So for now, we just have this fake plant. Since there was more room in this toolbox than just having a bunch of stuff laying on the kitchen table, I did go to the china cabinet in the corner and I pulled out some vintage napkins that I have. And I bought these forever ago for super cheap. I just could not pass them up. I think they were like 25 cents a piece or something like that. So I bought them and that way we can have some napkins on the table. And we do like using re -nap reusable napkins instead of just the throwaway paper towels. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for coming along with me as I added some new antiques to our home.